Don in London, hello, July 2nd. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour could be equally addictive around people, places and things. So, trying to be with the right people, doing the right things, in the right places, with the right things, all those things, trying to be perfect in my life and work hard to deliver to others what they wanted. So, what did I do? Well, I took the edge off with a drink. I celebrated with a drink. I lived sad with a drink inside me. All those things. Until I became a heavy drinker, sought out places where other people drank heavily. So I fitted in. And I did that for a long time. So work and play hard. And then addiction. Addicted to alcohol and behaviour which goes with it. In my case shut down, shut in, isolated, frightened, not able to cope anymore. So one day at a time I learned how to be sober and learn from other people in whatever way I could. And the best teachers I found about sobriety, believe it or not, were people who were in recovery from addiction to alcohol or a substance or behaviour. And I found the most prolific numbers in fellowship, and that fellowship is Alcoholics Anonymous for me, and there are other fellowships depending on what the substance or behaviour may be. So an alcoholic in recovery, one day at a time, learning how to live life as it may be, reality, learning to live reality, where my feelings fit my current experience, so my feelings fit what's going on. And the fellowship of AA, I don't speak for it, never can, never will. It is full of unique, authentic people who speak where they will about their recovery. Mm -hmm. And I emphasise unique, authentic people because I do believe everyone's on their journey of life. Where they are on the journey of life is unique and authentic to them. There is never, never ever the same experience being experienced at the same time in the same moment in the same way because we are all different in our experiences. So, although unique and authentic, it doesn't mean we're special and different. Indeed, we are as human as the next person. So, if anybody has found themselves dependent and then addicted to a substance or behaviour, it is likely there is a solution out there. And it may well be a fellowship, or it could be something else. But I have to say, fellowships work for me. And Alcoholics Anonymous, although I don't speak for it, never can, never will, and never want to, because it is about freedom of choice, freedom of choice about how we want to live our lives. And for me, fellowship is inclusive to find out how to live to free choice, freedom again, but based on life situations and reality. So it is about real life and living real life. And the last days, a few days, or well, a couple of days, have been a bit testing in terms of what is the right way to share a message of experience, strength and hope. And I do consider it almost every time I do a video, simply because I know some people will find a message which helps, and many people may find a message which is completely unhelpful. And I want a, another way. I want to fix myself now. And the answer is... I couldn't fix myself in that right now moment and be perfect again because I was never perfect in the first place and life was never going to be the way I wanted it to be. So I think li living life on life's terms is as best I can get to. Keep on making progress. No, I, I am human. Sometimes my feelings go to extremes where I can be angry and resentful or so happy and joyful I don't know why. But somewhere in the middle, we find the depth of how we can live our lives and feel life as it is today. And it can become more and more real. That is, it feels concrete, solid and right. Or sometimes it's like being touched by the hand of God, as some people might say. But I don't speak for anything more than me. Anyway, what is AA? I'll share the AA preamble. I haven't done it for a while on my videos making a bit big assumption that people might know what AA is or is not. And I've got to remind myself what is fellowship nearly every day in every meeting I go to. 
is about being sober and helping others. So this is what AA says about itself and I feel it's highly appropriate and right to share it. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. That's it. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. Everything else is unimportant when we're trying to get recovery. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And that's my primary purpose when I do these videos to stay sober and help others to achieve sobriety. Simple as that. Yet it can get complicated because if we impo impose rules, regulations and laws on people we start to exclude people rather than include them. And the whole point of AA no rules, laws or regulations and that everything is a suggestion and the best you're going to get is maybe you ought to do it this way. But if somebody's telling you what to do, what do you do? You get cross. And if somebody tells me what to do, when I think I'm doing something, or I feel like I'm doing something which is worthwhile, then of course I'll get angry, resentful and cross. I'm human, and I'm glad I am, because it means my feelings are working. So sometimes we are taken to extremes of behaviour. But for me today, what's important is working on how to be sober and share a message. So this is part of it. And the set of questions which I asked myself this morning, which I've shared on Facebook as it happens. How do we reach people who are shut in and shut down? How do we share with those who are blind or deaf or whatever the impediment may be or difficulty of living life? How do we share with anyone who finds it difficult to read and write? How do we open up the possibility of recovery to, to those who are lost and have given up? How do we include rather than exclude by our attitudes, behaviour and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis? How do we make it possible for people to get sobriety? And we can't be all things to all men, that is as an individual, but as the AA Fellowship is founded on a desire to stop drinking and to share the message with other, with other people as best mm -hmm. we can, then I think we're onto a winner. But we can still tread on the toes of those who are in fellowship with us, as I have done over the last couple of days. And then this morning I also said, you know, sometimes I, for I forget that what I think and define in words is clear, but it's not always clear, and many of the words we use to, t to talk about spiritual life have different meanings for different people, and that's quite right, because it's what we've learned over the years. So, for some spiritual may be without the necessity of religion or belief in God, or it can be all-inclusive, a belief in God, and religion is spiritual. So what is it for me? Spiritual, and I pose it as a question, is it everything? I ask us a question. For a long time spiritual has been about being in the moment, the ability to cope with and be able to see reality. Where my feelings are in the moment and are based on real life. Reality can be good, bad and anything in between. How I feel about the reality, reality I am experiencing determines my thoughts and actions which follow. So, when challenged earlier this week about what I do, and the challenge was without any real knowledge or understanding, in fact a complete failure to comprehend anything beyond what they felt was obvious made me angry, resentful and 
told them where to go and I had to ponder on that quite a lot just to actually say to myself spiritual is everything so that reaction was in the moment feelings heightened by contempt prior to investigation so a human response to a challenge without foundation and without knowledge and based on a perception of how to do something so do I normally act or behave that way or react that way when challenged the answer is no for the last few years normally I find a reasonable way of dealing with challenge support or undermining even I don't get particularly angry about it but I don't know what it was maybe knowing the person who was challenging just too much to pause reflect and think to myself it's not worth it I'm wasting my time in some way or other when another person is not up for change and that's okay I think what riled me more than anything was content prior to investigation but that's okay somebody mentioned that uh, they described me as this is me as a person as just another drunk and actually if they are just another drunk I am just another drunk and that's no problem but I wouldn't want to describe them as just another drunk how people describe me is what they choose to do and that's fine but it doesn't mean I've got to join in and then prejudice other people with being just another drunk I don't mind being just another drunk it's no, it doesn't matter to me so spiritual is everything and you know, the quality of my reactions and responses is often determined by the way people approach me and that's alright too but uh, with challenge without foundation is, is going <laughs> to I don't think it will upset me again because I will expect it in future not necessarily from that particular person but from any person who hasn't got time, energy to look at the big picture and that's true of all of us from time to time if I'd looked at the big picture I'd have looked at it differently wouldn't I? anyway from previous years our spiritual path dot 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 living reality in the moment with clarity to keep learning truth love and wisdom that's how I like it to be but it's not often that way the serenity prayer can do choices actions and attitudes to change cannot do we let go of what we cannot change wisdom to accept truth responsibilities and consequences of what we do so living reality in the moment with clarity checking for information knowing that I know enough to make some sort of comment and if I don't know enough to shut up to keep learning truth love and wisdom so for me the higher power is a combination of truth not my opinion or belief which you hear a lot of here truth of what is love how to love people and be loved back and keep on learning wisdom so embodied in whatever my higher power is it's truth love and wisdom and that I aspire to doesn't mean I'm anywhere near it and the serenity, serenity prayer can do I do have choices I can take actions and my attitudes can change daily cannot do what I can't do I need to let go of and what I cannot change and it's the wisdom to accept truth responsibilities and consequences of what I do and that's good I need to accept the consequences that's so important of what I do how I behave my, if I have prejudice in my heart it will come out and people will either ignore me or lash out that's what happens yeah courage to change learning how to be open honest and willing is our responsibility we are responsible for our actions let go and let God we let go and let God we let truth in truth love and wisdom so let go and let good things happen let go being right let go trying to let go trying to be something we're not start be believing in who we are and behaving appro appropriately for where we are and how we can be maybe that's the way to do it let go that which we are powerless over usually people places and things we have choices based on truth today so the closer I can get to the truth which often requires a lot of reflection and also asking other people 
after all, where, where do I get the wisdom most? I get it from real life experience and li listening and being with other people, being included and a part of something. So I keep learning the experience, strength and hope from others. If my eyes and ears are open and my, maybe my voice is low or not, not operating. The daily reflection, which is what, where these things are normally based, and in July it's all about step seven, which is about having my shortcomings removed. If I ask, contingent on the day I ask, to do a better day of being, living to courage, faith and confidence, based on reality. But the daily reflection for today read, this is from AA, the heart of true sobriety for July 2nd. We find that no one need have difficulty with the spirituality of the program. Willingness, honesty and open-mindedness open -mindedness are the essentials of recovery, but these are indispensable. Indeed, if we don't have willingness, honesty and open-mindedness, how do we get recovery? Because we're still shut down and closed in. So I need people in my life and people with the wisdom. Am I honest enough to accept myself as I am and let this be the me that I let others see? Do I have the willingness to go to any length to do whatever is necessary to stay sober? Do I have the open mindedness to hear what I have to, to hear what I have to hear, to think what I have to think, and to feel what I have to feel? If my answer to these questions is yes, I know enough about the spirituality of the program to stay sober. And you know what the program's about? For me, living life real. As I continue to work the 12 steps, I move on to the heart of true sobriety. Serenity with myself, with others, and with God as I understand him. So serenity with myself and with others. Progress not perfect and with God as I understand him is a personal belief of God for you which can be quite different to another person's belief of God for them if you've got God in your life you're not God I think is really what it boils down to and how you choose to worship or have faith and religion is absolutely sacrosanct to your beliefs and how you wish to live life and need not be trampled on by anybody else, least of all me, because I don't know what's good for you, because I don't know often what's good for me. So truth, love and wisdom are my touchstones and connection to a power greater than me, which is the whole wide world and everybody in it. That's me for now. <coughs> I have to think clearly and carefully, because my videos are about recovery and fellowship and inclusion and being a part of it's not about exclusion my or the way or the highway or you should do this you should do that it's about getting a message of I'm responsible when anyone anywhere reaches out for help I want the hand of a fellowship to be there and for that I am responsible which means we are open and inclusive to people coming into fellowship and the worst thing that can happen, I guess, is to be judged on your first day as by another person in the fellowship, as somebody who may or may not make it, or they don't stand a chance, or they're worse than me. They haven't got the, a clue, they haven't got an idea. To be judged early in fellowship is very detrimental, because that shapes the way people talk to us. So if we talk down to people as if we know better, then it doesn't help and that's what riled me as well I just realised being talked down to without investigating very difficult for me to life sometimes I'm glad I'm human I'm glad I feel it I'm glad my emotions have the range to be angry resentful as much as happy and joyful and residing most of the time somewhere in between where serenity affords the luxury of deep feeling about life as it is and the serenity prayer does help me at any particular time of day when things are going right or wrong. The serenity prayer is a can-do, can't-do, learning wisdom in the moment thing. And it's uh, an exhortation to God or a higher power. You know, even, if, even if it's just simply good conscience, 
we are onto a, onto a, a more f strong foundation if we ask about what we can and cannot do so the serenity prayer to God or in good conscience God grant me the serenity God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference and the wisdom to know the difference for me is in the moment and just for today and sometimes with a bit of reflection a greater understanding of what is going on